guys, it's me. Um, I had a video request today on how to potty train your guinea pig. Um, there's really about the same as training any other animal. Um, what I did with her is I did have this in here, but she seemed to only poop and pee in her hay. So I went and got a kitty litter box and filled it up with the Carefresh. So as you can see, then I just put the hay and her other food, her pellets, and her water as well. So now when she eats and poops and pees all at the same time, it's easier to clean. As you can tell, there is no poops around. I have not cleaned out the cage since yesterday afternoon. So I believe she's doing pretty good. <laughs> so uh, what I started out was was with this. I would keep her hay and food in this and she would just sit in here and eat. And when I go to clean it out it would be very nasty. So, this way is a little bit more functional, and she can get in and wander around. This in here. So she has to place to hide. She's a happy pig when she's by her food, so. She has a place to hide and eat at the same time. Um, now, this is what I use for the kitty look for the... Not kitty litter, but the guinea pig litter. Let me get it out here. It is just the natural critter care, and it works very well for one piggy. Um, she's not all that messy of a pig, so I gotta clean it out once every other day maybe <laughs> she's in there hiding is you hiding pig pig I see your bum there you are there you are is you hiding pig pig is you hiding so back to the care fresh um, this is really all we have to choose from here, so there are other things you can get online, but this works very well. And I don't use a lot, just enough, as you can see, just to cover the bottom. So when she does wee, her hair doesn't get in it and get all wet which we've had problems with too. It's very long hair. She needs something that's very absorbent so to keep it out of her hair. So, uh, also the new cage layout. Uh, we had to put her higher up because the dogs wouldn't stay out. They wanted to go in and sleep with her. <laughs> so, but I just got all her stuff under the table. And the extra cage for when we clean the cage out. And I have this. It is her hay. It's just a big storage thing. So, while I'm under here, I need to restock this while I have it open. And for those of you that don't know what this stuff is, get it close up here. It's just like paper, little bits of cardboard shredded up. So 
so it does soak up the pea very nicely. Definitely recommend this for people who have guinea pigs with long hair. It doesn't mat in their hair as much as the uh, wood chips and stuff like that. I haven't noticed any in her hair, but did notice it when she was in the wood chips. So don't recommend wood chips. I had it for maybe three days and went to fleece. So with fleece at least you can spot clean. So if there is any poops, you can go in and hoover them out, pick them up with wood chips and cedar. To me it always looks dirty. You can't tell what's clean. There's poop and all kinds of stuff everywhere. So I'd rather have this nice and clean. There is bits and pieces, as you can see, when she gets, you know, out of her food. But there is no poops. She does very well with this Carefresh and poops where her hay and her food is. So my suggestion would be to potty train is to put their food with their litter. So that, because I mean that's all they do is they poop and pee while they eat. So wherever they spend the most time at is where they're going to poop and pee. So it has worked very well for me this way. And I would highly suggest it. But then again it could be just my pig. She's not very messy. She was very easy to potty train. So, okay, well, that's it. Just wanted to give a quick view on my potty train, uh, potty training her. So, uh, any questions, feel free to leave your comments down below the video. Uh, subscribe and like, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye!